Alright, so we're going to look at solving rational inequalities. Alright, so let's look at this first problem. we got x plus 6 over x plus 4 is greater than 0. Now, when you're solving an exponential, I mean, when you're solving a rational inequality, you want to make sure you have the rational expression on one side and 0 on the other. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is we need to take the numerator and the denominator and set those equal to zero. Alright, so we take x plus 6 equal zero and we take the x plus 4 equal zero. And so here, subtracting 6 to both sides, we get x equal negative 6 and for the denominator, when we subtract 4 to both sides, we get x equal negative 4. Alright, now what we need to do is make a number line. And we're going to plot those on the number line, the negative 6 and the negative 4. Okay? And what this does is it splits the number line up in this case into three different regions and what we want to do is we want to pick a number from each region so for this one I'm going to choose x equal negative 7 here I'm going to choose x equal negative 5 and here I'll choose x equal 0 now when you're when you're choosing a number from the different regions it doesn't matter what number you choose. For example, the x equal negative 7, we could have chosen negative 8, negative 9, negative 10, as long as it's less than negative 6. And same thing here, we could choose anything as long as it's between negative 6 and negative 4. And over here, the x equals 0, we could choose anything as long as it's larger than negative 4. Now, what we want to do is we want to take each one of these numbers here, okay, each one of these numbers, and we want to plug them back in to our expression, okay? Alright, so first, let's start with the x equal negative 7. So that's going to give me negative 7 plus 6 over negative 7 plus 4. And that's going to be negative 1 over negative 3 which equals one third. So what this does is it tells us that any number we choose from this region here is going to be positive. Okay, So this is positive. Now let's plug in the x equal negative 5. So we've got negative 5 plus 6 over negative 5 plus 4. So that's going to give us 1 over negative 1, which equals negative 1. So this tells us that any number we choose between negative 6 and negative 4 is going to be negative. Now let's plug, now let's plug the 0 in. So I've got 0 plus 6 over 0 plus 4, which is going to be 6 over 4, which equals positive 3 halves. So that tells us that any number we choose from this region is going to be positive. Okay. Alright, now let's look at this. What do we want to know? Sorry about that. What do we want to know? We want to know when is this expression here greater than zero. So when is it positive? Well, it's positive here and it's positive here. So our solution is going to be everything from negative infinity, from negative infinity all the way up to negative 6 and everything from negative 4 to infinity. So our solution would be negative infinity 
to negative 6 and we put a parenthesis because it's not greater than or equal to it's just greater than so the parenthesis means that the negative 6 is not included or everything from negative 4 to positive infinity and we have parentheses on everything so this would be our solution alright let's take a look at a, another problem alright so this one we have 5 over x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 1 now we have to get the 1 to the other side so I'm going to subtract 1 so I get 5 over x plus 4 minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 and now I have to get a common denominator Okay, so this is going to be 5 this is going to be x plus 4. Now, th this is something that you should already know how to do, but uh, let me go over it again. So let me let me take this off and let me go over it. So I got a common denominator, and we can look at this as being 1 over 1. So what do I have to multiply to this denominator to get my common denominator? Well, it's 1. So 1 times 5 is 5. And then what do I have to multiply to this denominator to get my common denominator? x plus 4. So x plus 4 times 1 is x plus 4. Okay. So now I've got, I've got 5 minus x plus 4 all over the common denominator and it's important that you make sure that you put this in parentheses because it's minus the whole thing so now distribute I get you know, let me get back to the get it straightened out okay so now I'm going to distribute the negative sign here so that's going to be 5 minus x minus 4 all over x plus 4 so now I've got negative x plus 1 over x plus 4 now, and this is all greater than or equal to zero. Now, I work it just like the first problem I had. I take the numerator and denominator and set it equal to zero. So I've got negative x plus one equals zero, and I've got x plus four equal zero. So here I can add x to both sides. So I get 1 equals x. Here I can subtract 4. So I get x equal negative 4. So let's plot these on the number line. So I've got negative 4 and I've got 1. And that's going to break this up into three regions. Okay. And so let's pick a number from each one of these regions. Here I'll choose negative 5. Here I'll choose 0. And here I'll choose 2. All right. So now let's plug these back in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug them. And we, we can plug them in to any one of these. Okay. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to plug them into this last one here because it's the easiest one. Okay, so I get negative a negative negative five plus one over negative five plus four. 
So that's going to be a positive 5 plus 1 is 6 over negative 1, which is negative 6. So everything in this region would be negative. And now let's plug in the 0. So I get negative 0 plus 1 over 0 plus 4, which is 1 over 4. That's positive. So everything in this region is positive. And then I plug the 2 in, so that's negative 2 plus 1 over negative 2 plus 4, which is negative 1 over 2. So everything in this region would be negative. Now, what do we want to know? Well, we want to know when is this greater than or equal to 0. So we want to know when is it positive. Well, it's positive right here. So our solution is everything from negative 4 to 1. So our solution would be negative 4 to 1. Now, notice how our inequality symbol is greater than or equal to. So that means we're going to use a parenthesis on the negative 4 and a bracket on the 1 because it's or equal to. So why did we use a bracket on the 1 but not the negative 4? Well, the 1 can be included but the negative 4 is not because if we included the negative 4, if you take the negative 4 and you plug it back in for x, what happens? You get 0 in the denominator and we can't have 0 in the denominator of a fraction. And so that's why there's a parenthesis on the negative 4 and not a bracket. Alright, let's take a look at another one. All right, well, let's look at this one, 2x minus 1 over 3x plus 4. All right, so once again, we have to move the 5 over because we want 0. We want 0 over here by itself. So that's 2x minus 1 over 3x plus 4 minus 5 is less than zero. So we need to get a common denominator which is 3x plus 4 3x plus 4. So what do we have to multiply to this denominator the 3x plus 4 to get our common denominator 3x plus 4? That's a 1. So 1 times 2x minus 1 is 2x minus 1. And then look at this as being 5 over 1. What do we have to multiply to the 1 to get our common denominator? 3x plus 4. So we have to multiply the 5 times 3x plus 4. And so now that's going to give us 2x minus 1 minus 5 times 3x plus 4 all over the common denominator 3x plus 4. Now let's simplify the numerator so we're going to distribute the negative 5 so that's 2x minus 1 minus 15x minus 20 all over 3x plus 4 which that's going to give us negative 13x minus 21 over 3x plus 4. No, oh, I'm sorry and this is all less than 0. I did it again. All right. Now, once again, we set the numerator and denominator equal to zero.
So add the 21, divide by negative 13, okay, and then solve this one. Okay, now let's plot these on the number line. So I'm going to have, let's see, the negative 21 over 13, and then the negative 4 thirds. Alright, so now let's choose a number from each region. Well, negative 21 over 13, that's negative 1 point something, so we'll choose negative 2. Alright, so now we need to choose a number between negative 21 over 13 and negative 4 thirds. So negative 21 over 13 is right around negative 1.6 and negative 4 thirds is negative 1.3. Okay, so I'm going to choose negative 1.5 and then here I'll choose 0. Alright, so now we need to take all of all three, the negative 2, the negative 1.5, and the 0, and plug them back in to here. Okay, And like I said, you can plug them in to any one of these. Okay, It's just that this one here is the easiest one to do. Alright, so now I've got negative 13 times negative 2 minus 21 over negative 2, I'm sorry, times over 3 times negative 2 plus 4. All right, so let's let's do something a little bit different on this. All right, instead of getting the exact number, all we care about is if this is positive or negative. So let's say we've got negative 13 times negative 2 is 26, and 26 minus 21 is going to give us a positive number for the numerator. And then we've got negative 6 plus 4, that's going to give us a negative number in the denominator. So that means the whole thing is going to be negative. So that means anything in this region will be negative. All right, now let's try the negative 1.5. So negative 13 times negative 1.5 minus 21 over 3 times negative 1.5 plus 4. All right, so we've got negative 13 times negative 1.5 that's going to give us 19.5. 19.5 minus 21 is a negative number. All right. And then in the denominator, 3 times negative 1.5 is going to give us negative 4.5. And negative 4.5 plus 4 is negative. And so we have a negative over a negative, which is going to be a positive. So anything in this region is positive. Now, let's look at the zero. So that's going to be negative 13 times zero minus 21 over 3 times zero plus 4. Okay, so that's going to be 0 
minus 21 is negative over 0 plus 4 is positive so that's going to give us a negative answer so anything in this region is going to be negative alright now let's look at our solution we want to know when is this right here the negative 13 X minus 21 over 3 X plus 4 when is that less than 0 well it's less than 0 or negative here and here so our solution is going to be everything from negative infinity to negative 21 over 13 and that's going to be in parentheses because it's just less than or everything from negative four-thirds to positive infinity and that's going to be parentheses also because neither one of these are included because it's just less than alright so I hope this helped uh, thank you